A major decision was announced today on the future of the Santa Monica Airport. It will be shut down over the next decade and turned into a park. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in Santa Monica with reaction to that news. Greg. Pretty strong reaction, Elsa and Peter. Gotta tell you, this battle's been going on for years, in fact, for decades, and now it's finally coming to an end on a Saturday. But really, if you listen closely, it doesn't end for almost a dozen years. People who live near the Santa Monica Airport and pilots who fly out of here hear the words they never thought they'd hear. This morning, the Santa Monica City Council reached a historic agreement with the federal government to close Santa Monica Airport forever on December 31st, 2028. The City Council says these 227 acres will become, in their words, a great park with some athletic fields. Pilots who have flown out of here for years say that's pie in the sky thinking. So the council lies. They say that they're going to make this a park. This is not going to make be a park. This is a gold mine. This will be Century City 2. He said greed will step in, but the city insists it will turn this into a park. People who live at the end of the runway on Glen Avon Avenue in Venice are awfully happy to hear the airport is closing, even though it won't happen for almost a dozen years. The noise, they tune out. It's the ever-present danger. I'm always concerned, sure. Long-timers here recall at least four crashes, including a few on the golf course right across the street. We all remember Harrison Ford landing over there, and that was a big deal. You know, every now and again, you're going to get a plane going down, so got to be careful. The Reynes family has lived here 23 years. They say congestion on the streets and on the runways have both increased. The number of jets going in and out has increased enormously. The city council agrees. They plan to shorten the runway within the next few months leaving it too short for most jets to use. And that hurts plans for a commercial airline, which starts flying out of here February 6th. So we have to evaluate now if we're going to operate uh, those services for the three months uh, before they shorten the runway. Got to tell you that uh, he felt he was blindsided by this news. Didn't expect that to happen on a Saturday. And the pilots we spoke with, you heard from a couple of them, but uh, they're really sad uh, that this airport, this historic airport, is going to be shutting down. But the good thing is it doesn't happen until 2028. Elsa and Peter, back to you.